Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Ella and today we'll be doing your February 2019 tarot prediction. So this is your birthday month. So exciting, really exciting, right? <laughs> Let's see what this month holds for you. I'm gonna do also a little bit of a different prediction that I normally do. So the first card is death card. Could be connecting with a Scorpio or somebody very dominant Scorpio. I feel like there was an ending probably also with this person, you're dealing with somebody very intense and it's almost like you met probably this person and at first like you had this immediate like opposites attract or like some kind of attraction to this person but it's almost like right away you were kind of seeing I don't see how this will ever work out, we are so different but you were like, you know, this person is mysterious, this person is interesting, let me try this out, let me see what happens and I'm almost getting, let's see what other cards we're gonna pull, I'm almost getting like you were ignoring them here, ignoring your red flags. <laughs> and you were like going, going forward. And there was one moment when you were like, stop, I cannot do this anymore. Look, the chariot could also have cancer in their chart. But it's almost like things started with this person very, very, very quickly. Like, oops, suddenly like, you know, you just met them and already like you told them your whole life story, like next day, you felt like you have so much in common, you grew up maybe even in a similar country, similar place, Ace of Pentacles, like, I mean, it could, like, I don't know why, I feel like it ended for some things here already, but I don't know why not, like, you have here opportunity to be, like, you have something very much in common, I don't know, somebody here could have a dog as well, uh, but it's almost like maybe you're just not seeing this person clearly, maybe you got scared or they got scared because everything started so quickly. Somebody here got scared and it's almost like, see how she's wearing this like red, it's almost like red flags, red flags, I'm hearing the word red flags. But look, six of cups and the sun here, I feel like both people here could be very young and if not necessarily like age-wise young, could have just like be very connected to their inner child or alternatively could be childish, quite childish as well. So it's almost like you have something also in common, familiar with about your childhood. And I'm getting like, okay, come on, <laughs> one second. I'm hearing like a lot of different stuff. Um, it's almost like it, it feels natural, this connection. I don't know, like there's red flags, but at the same time, there's so much in common. It's almost like you've known, I'm hearing like you've known, you feel like you've known this person all your life. You've known them like since you, like you didn't know them necessarily since you were a child, but there's a feeling like you share so much together, almost like, are you sure you know my brother or sister? But then it would be weird, right? So we don't want this here. <laughs> like, come on. Three of swords. Yeah, like it's almost, there is a sense of understand. I hear this. Three of Swords in the Tower. Maybe something came out about this connection. You found out something. Maybe somebody was already was already taken, or you just found out, let's say, that they never ever want to get married, or you found out that they are polyamorous or into open relationships. But it's almost like something came down here from the tower. The universe really like shook you up, and you were like very sad, very disappointed, very heartbroken about what the universe revealed to you. And it's almost like you were thinking maybe this person was perfect. You were thinking that, oh my God, I finally met somebody I really like. And the universe was like, <sniffs> with the tower, nope. And you're like, so what What do I do now? Was it all just in my head kind of thing? But it's almost like this red flags you were ignoring. They were the ones that manifested. And with the Queen of Swords energy, it's almost like somebody here cutting off all the bullshit, cutting off everything that they think is not authentic. And they're like, you know what, I'm the queen, I wear the crown, I'm not going to let somebody, let's say, if this person was like, oh, you know what, I'm seeing five more people, <laughs> I don't know, or at least somebody else, you're like, you know what, no, I like you, but I know who I am, I'm not going to allow this, sorry, even though it felt painful for somebody here, yes, seven of wands, defensive, it's almost like the connection started so quickly, you clicked so quickly that both, I think, got scared here, both people were like, you know what, no, I'm not ready for something like this. Two of Pentacles, trying to also love the situation off, trying to balance it out, trying to be like, you know what, no, I didn't mean it. Oh, I told you I love you yesterday. I, whatever, forget it. I was just drunk. How are you? <laughs> kind of thing. Somebody basically slipped here and were like, you know, I was watching this. I was re-watching Sex in the City recently. And there was this one episode where Carrie was like with this guy, Burger. 
And what was it? Like she said, she was emotionally slutty with him. <laughs> something like that. Somebody kind of like went too quickly, told somebody that they love each other too quickly or something, showed something too quickly. And then the next day they're like, oops, no, no, I didn't really mean it. I was just joking. Ah, what? Kind of thing. Queen of Pentacles energy and Knight of Wands. <sighs> Could be also another like Taurus involved here or some significant earth sign. And somebody who is just like deciding to just focus, focus on maybe pentacles, focus on realistic things, trying to distract themselves from a situation with the nine of wands person feels, both people I feel in the connection feel very guarded. They're like, you know what, let me just take this easy. I'm not sure if I'm like, this is moving too fast. Hanged man, exactly. Letting control go, letting go of situation, letting go maybe of a person even here. And I feel like in the months of Pisces, like end of February, right after your birthday and March, like you will gain clarity, maybe you will be with this person, we'll have another chance to reconnect, or maybe you will decide to let go of this connection altogether. Five of Cups energy here. I don't think like either you or this person admits this to themselves because they're trying again like to be in this Aquarius, like Aquarian like or even Gemini like energy. <laughs> like like what I'm trying to say, basically they're trying to be detached. But I feel like, or you could be feeling detached, or they could be feeling, trying to feel detached. But I feel like somebody here is very sad about actually um, that for whatever reason, just like they thought they met somebody almost like perfect, like, and they had this instant connection, which I felt like a person here didn't feel for a while with anybody, this instant connection. So they finally met somebody that they clicked with. They finally met somebody like um, they have chemistry with, like physical even chemistry and everything. And... Again, not the right one. With the Justice card here, hold on, let me see. Justice, King of Cups and Temperance. With the Justice card here, there is also a third party for some of you and there could be Libra involved here somehow and Pisces even as well. But with the Justice card, more than anything, it's almost like whenever you make a decision, right? If you, do, if you just follow your heart and don't even listen to your mind, to your rational mind, sometimes, you know, things can happen, right? If you just follow also your logical mind and completely neglect your heart, you know, also like you're not gonna get anywhere there. So with this justice card, I feel like more than anything here, it's balancing the heart and the mind, like, and seeing reality objectively. With the King of Cups, I feel like there could be either this person again, trying to come up and express themselves, maybe messaging you again after some time, not talking to you. Um, or there could be a different person as well. Whatever it is with the temperance card here, I feel like you've learned an important lesson in this connection. You've balanced. You came to understand also who you are, what you will and will not accept. Maybe in the past, whatever this person was offering you, whatever this connection would take, it would be perfectly fine and you would be, you know, there would be no problem. But who you are today might not be in alignment with it which is why the universe has created almost like this tower moment for you so that you wouldn't go again in the cycle where you would get stuck for a while where you wouldn't be able to progress to move on in your life to things you want so in a way like it's a blessing from the universe that things at least at the moment kind of like didn't work out here yeah with eight of cups somebody here is walking away moving away from a situation going towards the truth so going towards understanding who they are here Somebody here has Cancerian in their chart as well. And I think Eclipse also has brought, especially because, yeah, this Eclipse was in your seventh house, Aquarius. So this Eclipse has brought some kind of important ending, not just of a relationship, but of a major phase of relationships in your life. And with the Two of Wands energy here, you are moving forward. You are looking towards, you know, where else can I go with this? I think some of you are literally taking a trip maybe somewhere, maybe you're moving to a different city, different country, different state, traveling maybe, going also to study somewhere abroad. So this is all going to turn out very positive. Um, two of Cups and maybe even like when you, when you make a plan for your future, when you start following your future, your dream, the soulmate connection will be revealed to you. Could be this person, but I'm feeling like it could be somebody new here, somebody new who is much more um in alignment with who you are today or other than anything so we have here okay interesting we have here ten of swords came out in reverse here i read reversals rarely but sometimes i do in the hierophant 
I'm always feeling like doing the right thing and also like connecting to some kind of new belief system, adopting the new system. It's gonna help you heal some important trauma even from childhood I'm hearing. This some important like ending, like something that ended in your life a while ago, but you're still healing from. There is some kind of new belief system, you learning something new, you following some kind of new philosophy. It's gonna help this. With King of Wands, I'm almost feeling like you're gonna learn some kind of important trick or secret about manifestation. And like, there will be a moment there was nobody <laughs> around. And suddenly like, there will be options. There will be different people, especially if you're feminine watching this, there will be a lot of different masculine energies that will come towards you. Let's take your angel answers card and what was the reading. Ask your angels, look at this. So yeah, some of you are connecting, you know, to, uh, to spirituality in some new way. Forgiveness, exactly. And it's helping you to let go and forgive of this past, this ten of swords in reverse that, show, that showed up. In the near future, trust and look for a sign. So it's like in the near future, in like you will start seeing results basically of this manifestation of this work that you've put in here and i'm getting like a lot of you will be receiving signs synchronicities but what i'm also getting and i said this in my recent instagram post um you know you will kind of redefine and rethink what you think of as a sign because i said something in my instagram post like you know when people hurt us or ignore us or something but we see the signs right 11 11 this and this and this and that I'm not saying that the signs don't mean anything, but how a person treats you, what person tells you, isn't it a sign as well? You know, think for yourself, but this is just food for thought. Some of you, I feel like, will just be reevaluating what signs they pay attention to and synchronicities and what signs they don't. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you have Instagram, please follow me there. It's Astro in Wonderland, and I'll see you next time. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Have an amazing month. Bye-bye.